Welcome back to another pen talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for continuing on with my journey through the world of pens. So I received this pen uh, a week or so ago. Um, an unsolicited pen included in a shipment that I purchased from Bobby and I'm going interesting pen. Hopefully you can see the fact that it's triangular in shape. Has a pull-off cap. Has a nice triangular section. Has a generic nib. In fact, the whole pen is generic. You're not going to eyedropper this. It does post. The interesting pen. I like this um, nice liner that seals up and hopefully keeps that nib from drying out. Interesting cutout on the side of that nib. Something not used to seeing in a nib like this. This is a little bit of a different nib. You know, kind of Lamy-esque, but a little bit different. This just unscrews, and you see a cartridge converter. I think it'd be great if you could eyedropper it, because then you could get rid of this, and then you'd have just hold this clear body, but not the case. When you thread this in, it snaps into place. It's not quite real secure, but it's decent and that snaps into play. So you may say, Chris, doesn't this remind you of another pen? And here comes a box. And as we open up this box, we'll see a triangular pen, the 360 by Omas. And it is triangular. But I think we can honestly say, without a question of a doubt, that there are really no comparisons between these two pens other than the fact that they're triangular have a pull-off cap this is certainly not a generic steel nib far from it it is a fine you know this is rhodium trim on red you may say chris i've never seen this pen before and that's true i bought it maybe 10 years ago maybe a little bit more maybe 15 so when this pen was really hot and everybody was reviewing it and I said, I would like to try one. Obviously, I go to eBay to find one. I bought this from a seller in Germany, mint in box, and I paid about $100 for it. So that was, I thought, a good deal. But it was not a pen that appealed to me from a writing viewpoint. So it went into the box and, you know, this is one of those things that someday I may go, mm, let me bring that out and use it. But... Today is not that day. So we're going to ink this pen up and see how that interesting nib works and see if this pen is maybe something you might be interested in. Well, we filled the pen up and we've done some writing enough that I feel comfortable showing you how it writes. This ink called out to me and I like it in the pen. The pen fits fine in the hand, just uncapped. But it does post, not very deeply, and not very securely, so probably posting is not something that you might want to do regularly. This is uh, definitely uh, extra fine to fine nib. You know, there's no markings on the nib at all. So, And those little cutouts don't do anything. This is a stiff nib. But it works well. And I like the way it looks in this ink color. Easy to lay down a nice patch of ink. Decently wet. So overall, from a writing experience, I'm uh, satisfied. I 
I had low expectations, so that's why it's easy to be satisfied. I mean, it requires no pressure to write. You know, the flow seems to be good, especially with this ink. So overall, how would I rate this pen? That's a tough one. I'm going to give it a 7.7. .7. So you may ask, why not higher? Well, it does have a unique triangular shape, which to me doesn't do anything for me, and it does stop it from rolling. So that's why it gets a 7.7. .7. You know, this whole section is kind of a little bit loose here, and it doesn't really snap in as well as, as you'd like it to. Yeah, you can see the ink in there. It's nice. But the cartridge converter kind of doesn't help lend itself with that nice clear look and with the holes in the end you can't eyedropper it. It does have that nice cap liner that snaps into place so I know I haven't had it long enough to decide whether that'll keep it from drying out but I think it'll work fine. But it's more of a novelty pen. Uh, the section is actually more comfortable than I expected. I haven't written with my 360 as you know so I don't have a point of reference, but I certainly find this more comfortable than the uh, sections on, on the Lamy Safari, that design, even though this is a more intense shape. I mean, you just can't hold it on those edges. That's not going to work, but then that would put the nib at a, at a wrong angle. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little look at an interesting pen. I'm thankful uh, to Bobby for sending it to me because it's not something I probably would have ordered, but I enjoyed being able to explore it and share it with you. So thank you for watching. May you have many great writing experiences. Explore this interesting world that we have available to us in pens, inks, nibs, paper, you know, put some ink on paper. You never know what may happen. So we've reached the end of this video. Until the next one, bye for now. I do like this Robert Oster turquoise.